Hello everybody, I'm Waddles, welcome back. Yesterday's 19W13A snapshot completely changed and revamped raids. That is the focus of today's fun three-part video. In the 19W13A snapshot showcase video, I introduced and briefly went over some of the raid changes. Today, I'm looking to dive into those changes a lot more and share some of my own thoughts on the changes but three parts, so I'm going to break this video off into a few segments. Segment 1, or part 1, will be general raid information, you know, stuff about the changes. And the second segment of the video will take on a raid, and not an easy one. <laughs> I'm feeling brave, so we're going to take on a hard level raid. And then in the third and final part of the video, I'll go over some of my thoughts on the raids. There will be timestamps to each segment down in the description below, so feel free to skip around in this video. And as always, if you enjoy the video, help me out, drop a like and subscribe. Don't forget about those notifications because YouTube is a different sometimes and uh, keep your eyes out for my 50k special coming soon, uh, episode 3 of our series tomorrow. So, part 1, some general information. What is a raid? Well, a raid is really a group of villagers, pillagers, witches, and sometimes evil, ugly ravagers. No, no offense, ravager. A raid is triggered when a player enters a village with the bad omen effect. Players obtain the bad omen effect by killing a pillager captain. That means a pillager with a banner on his head. There are five different levels to the bad omen effect, and yes, this effect can be cleared by drinking a bucket of milk. Just like that. When the player enters a village with the bad omen effect, a raid will be called in. There will be multiple waves of the raid. These wave amounts are dependent upon the difficulty. If you are on easy difficulty, there will be 3 waves, normal 5 waves, and hard 7 waves. If you have more than one level of the bad omen effect, uh, there will be a bonus wave, and that wave will be the same as the final wave. The higher the bad omen level, so say bad omen 5, the greater the chance of enemies having enchanted weapons during the raid. Each raid of a wave will have more enemies, and those enemies get tougher. On waves 5 through 7, evokers will spawn in with the raid as well. Uh, but that's just about it for the info part, so uh, time to flip into survival and take on a raid. Uh, this is definitely going to go well. <laughs> okay, so survival time, the game uh, difficulty is hard. This should should go absolutely well, <laughs> I'm sure. So um, I, I have some tools and things here. We'll take some food, uh, some blocks, and some arrows. On my crossbow, I have quick charge 3 and piercing 4. On my sword, sharpness 4, unbreaking 3, and flame. And then on the armor, uh, really just varying levels of protection and then some feather falling on the boots just in case. Uh, now that we're all geared up though, it's definitely time uh, to give myself the bad omen and uh, call in the raid. So hard difficulty. We can expect seven um, waves and again each wave will get harder and harder. Since we only have bad omen one, we shouldn't really face all that many um, you know monsters with enchanted weapons. So uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully that uh, part gets a little easier. There's no iron golem in this village. I'm not too sure why, and uh, there really aren't all that many villagers either. Um, but where is the raid? Hmm. Um, you know, I didn't even hear the bell thing again. I had an issue with that yesterday. Um, hmm. Not off to a good start. Uh, okay, okay. Never mind. I found him. Uh huh. Uh. <laughs> Well, that guy didn't really even want to fight, uh, and neither does this one, or neither. Uh, hey, come back here. Nope. Uh, <laughs> um, well, at least I don't need to worry about them hurting me, I guess. Uh, oh, oh, there's quite a few over here. Okay, um, so can we get them to fight each other? Uh, I don't think they will. Uh, they don't seem to, you know, target each other like that. But there we go. Wave uh, one gone, and I will be keeping track of the loot as well. So... Uh, two emeralds so far and a banner. We'll just move it up there, though, and wait for the next raid uh, wave. So I think I should keep the cross... Oh, hey, they're right over there. Uh, I was going to say I should probably keep the crossbow charged uh, just in case, right? Um, but, uh, yep. The crossbow is so strong. Like, like seriously, it, it really um, takes these guys out. Uh, the ones that I really need to watch out for are the pillagers because these guys, the... Uh, 
uh, what do you call it? The Vindicators just <laughs> open and close doors, which makes it easier for me, right? Um, oh, you go away. Uh-huh. And one more. Uh, there we go. Uh, so, so far so good. Just a, a little bit of porcupine stuff going on. But um, six emeralds, two banners now, which is, is kind of cool. I like that each um, wave brings another banner. And, uh, yeah, we can kind of collect those. But, um... Where are we spawning this time? Are we going to go over there? Um, I don't think so. Uh, how about over here? Uh, yeah, over here. Okay, so a witch this time too. The witch is what concerns me. So we're going to actually try and take out the witch. Um, probably from far away. Uh, I know I'm getting shot at from behind. <laughs> I'm just going to ignore it for now and uh, get rid of the witch. Uh, now... Oh, <laughs> they're all shooting each other. That helps. Uh-huh, uh-huh. The Ravager is a, a little concerning, too. Uh, it does a lot of damage, so um, we'll probably have to stay back from that guy as well. Uh, but again, the Vindicators are doing nothing. Um, they're just running around, which I'm sure is just an AI issue thing. It's not really uh, intended by any means. And I guess this guy is stuck, too, so I think we can just do that. Uh, is he even going to hit me? No. Uh, okay. Well, he, yeah. No, he's he's completely stuck. That's cool. That makes that easy. Uh, where'd, where'd the last guy go? Where did you go? Hmm. Oh, there you are. All right. Uh, wave three down. Uh, no deaths so far. I thought I would die a lot more, and that's why I have duplicates of everything. Um, we should have... Yes, we do have a saddle over here, too. Uh, so time to eat and uh, time to get the crossbow ready again uh, Right over there this time they keep spawning right in my vision which makes things way Way easier. I should probably get rid of the crossbow guys this time though. Uh, they did a lot of damage. Uh, whoa. Oh the piercing. That's right. That's what that is. Oh Wow um, <laughs> Completely forgot about that. Um, that's really really cool and crazy useful actually like I didn't realize how nice uh, piercing was. I guess that's what we're learning today. Wow. Um, are they healing each other? Uh, oh, what do they give? Oh, slowness. Oh, great. Um, yikes. Uh, <laughs> are they going to fight the villagers, though? Uh, or are they just stand? Uh, oh, did you just you just poisoned me, didn't you? Oh, no. We got to move. Um, uh, that's not cool. Um, stop healing each other, please. All right, let's do this. Uh, we'll get rid of this guy. Uh, come back here. He's really <laughs> just running around the building and uh, healing. Hey, uh, or I'm assuming that's healing. Um, uh, we should probably heal up. Uh, let's let's go away. Uh, I don't. How long is this poison going for? Um, Twelve more seconds. Wow, I got a lot of poison. Um, that's kind of crazy. Aha! Uh -huh. Nice try. Nice try. And uh, can I? Uh, yes, I can. Okay, so let's go in for the kill here. Uh, get rid of the witch. This shouldn't be that hard. Uh, where'd you go, though? Are you just... Yep, you are. And the villagers have the door open. That's wonderful. Uh, you guys should really just keep that closed for now. <laughs> it's kind of da dangerous out here, but uh, I think that was wave four, so... Uh, wave five now, and um, I'm surprised at how easy this is so far. So there's our loot, though. Um... Hmm, I think I heard the horn over here. Yes, I did. Okay, so an evoker. This is the guy that we need to watch out for because I... Is, does he spawn vexes too? Oh, well, I guess he won't spawn anything now. <laughs> He's dead already. Uh, and is the Ravager actually going for me this time? I think it is. Uh, it looks like it is. Um, uh, or it was. Does there need to be somebody on it? Um, I want that totem of undying though. Uh, I should definitely... Oh, it is chasing. No? No, it's not. Okay. Uh, let's go get the totem of undying. That's probably a good idea. And let's do that. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, a crossbow. I think that's our first crossbow. That's really, really cool. Awesome. Uh, but where's the totem? I I, I want to carry that. Um, <laughs> uh, just in case, right? Uh, now we won't die. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. And we're actually starting to run low on arrows, so uh, I'll just dig into my supply here and... Uh, carry on. So, uh, I really think this would be a lot more difficult if our Vindicators here were charging after me because the axe attacks that those guys do, um, really, really packs a punch. Like, there's a lot... Oh, oh, he's still alive. Uh, does it care? No, it doesn't care. Hmm. Hmm. It seems like we need some AI adjusting and... Okay, just destroying the trees. That's cool. Uh, you go away. Um, here you are. Uh, hey, yep. Mm -hmm. You know, I have no way of telling, but uh, it seems like we we probably don't even have one 
uh, villager death yet. Like, I don't think anybody has gotten close enough, and those guys uh, are just going in and out of places. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, uh, well, anyways, here is uh, the next wave. I, I think uh, six now, right? I think that was five. Uh, we are going to keep the totem on us and uh, throw that all in there. And again, this is our difficulty, so... Yeah, like, uh, I don't know, um, <laughs> that's really easy, uh, where is it, oh, there it is, okay, so let's see if we can get that, uh, piercing shot again, uh, oh, the evoker again, uh, yeah, that's right, that's right, that's the thing, um, I need to, okay, he's gone, uh, that makes the job easier, you know, uh, look at the sheep over there, <laughs> they're just glitching out, and, and, yeah, it's, that's kind of weird, uh, but the piercing enchantment is amazing, guys, like, I don't know if you guys have tried it out or, or seen it or anything, but it's really good. Like, like, that is just so cool. I didn't really realize that. Um, that's awesome. There should be an achievement for killing more than one with one one shot. Maybe there is. All right. Um, I think uh, we are bringing in our final uh, wave here. I really like that we, you know, can actually get the totem mode of undying now. Excuse me. Uh, you know, before... It was just so rare, so, uh, yep, this is probably really the first time I'm using it in survival like this, uh, but, uh, one final, oh, there's two Ravagers this time, okay, that, oh, and there's Vexes spawning already, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, <laughs> oh, and, oh, there's another one, too, okay, so that's dangerous, that is really, really dangerous, we need to get rid of those guys, like, ASAP, uh, yep, the Evokers are the bad ones, um, wow, that is so cool looking. That is really, really cool, but, uh, Vex, no, 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 no. Uh, there's no way we die, right? Like, we have the totem, and why do they move so fast? Is, is that normal, or is that a bug? Um, that is just crazy. Uh, no. Uh, hold still, guys. I want a clean shot, um, <laughs> on a bunch of them. I, I, I want to hit them all. All right, let's get rid of the witch. The witch is the, the one that's going to give me a problem, and... And finally, uh, these things, so that's not bad. Uh, wow, three more totems, though, on this one. The loot is crazy good. I, I, I think that's amazing. Um, but, but let's get rid of the rest. Oh, no. Oh, no. He killed one. Uh, is he going to target me now? Oh, he will. Oh. Aha. Interesting. Um, defeat. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, well, I hear a villager still. Um... So what's going on? Uh, I'm confused. <laughs> He's jumping. Did, did the raid really get to... Did they defeat the village? Oh, no. Aw. Uh, um, but wait, what? Huh? What? <laughs> um, well, uh, there's the raid. Uh, no, no hero of the village, though. Uh, but there's... Um, uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, that was the raid, uh, on hard difficulty again. Now it's time for some of my thoughts. What do I think about the raids right now in their current state? Well, the first big thing that I need to mention is the weird AI of some of the mobs. I know that the raiders are meant to keep moving and search for villagers constantly, but, uh, in its current state, some of the AI just kind of, you know, completely ignores me and makes things really, really easy for me. Uh, but on the flip side of things, maybe that's how it's meant to be. Maybe the uh, raiders are meant to prioritize killing the villagers first and then kill you after. With this current system, it's really actually not all that hard to survive a raid. I really only got yeah, even semi-close, if you want to say that on that final raid wave but by that point you know i had a few totem of undying so not really a problem in terms of the loot it's uh pretty good i would say um now of course you know the loot amounts will change with looting and and just of course mob drops but this is what i got from that raid lots and lots of totem of undying this is more than i have ever seen in like a survival world or anything like that which i really really like the big change that i think needs to happen here is the ravager right now the ravager only drops a saddle and that is in my opinion pretty lame like i i don't know um <laughs> a saddle for the for that beast i, I maybe something new uh 
I don't know. In terms of an item that would make sense, uh, that's kind of difficult. I would say at least some bones as well, uh, alongside the saddle, and not in the menu, but it would be kind of neat to see maybe like a suspicious stew or something to add some interesting lore or like a story to the beast, like uh, maybe the pillagers and the illagers created the thing somehow, but yeah, I, I think the, the drop needs to be a little better on that guy because a, a saddle, it's good, but in reality, survival players probably have tons and tons of saddles from either exploring already or uh, AFK fish farms and things like that. So maybe, yeah, something a little better there. I absolutely love the use of the witches and the evokers in the raids. I think that adds a lot of variation. So that's definitely a positive for me. And I do quite like the variation of the raids as well and how you, you know, really don't know what to expect necessarily. You have a rough idea, but maybe one time it spawns, uh, you know, a bunch of witches and the other time you get, you know, two ravagers or something. I, I, I kind of like that. Now, of course, I realize that as the player faces more and more raids, uh, they will kind of know what to expect, but... Uh, yeah, I, I think the mob spawning and semi-randomization is quite nice. Uh, but in terms of the villagers, I'm a little confused here. The villagers really just got destroyed, and I, I imagine they would have gotten killed even sooner if the AI of the mobs and the creatures was actually uh, properly functioning. I'm not too sure how it would work, but it would be kind of neat to see maybe, I don't know, uh, vindicators only breaking down doors and not opening doors, and pillagers actually running up and opening doors. Then the raid would kind of get this teamwork mechanic where the crossbow guys kind of run in and open the door, and then the evoker uh, goes into the house and kills the villager. Of course, vindicators should still have the option to break down a door, though. The doors don't break down instantly, so the player could easily run up and distract the vindicator, uh, and of course, save the door. So to sum up my big criticisms, I believe the Ravager needs a better drop and perhaps Vindicator shouldn't be opening and closing all of the doors, uh, maybe that's the Pillager's job. In my opinion, pretty much everything else is absolutely amazing though, other than some derpy AI. But of course, what do you think? Tell me down below and uh, even more importantly, tell Kojo Max on Twitter. I will leave his Twitter down in the description, but remember, if you go and tell him something on Twitter, be polite. It's one guy and he can only do so much. Uh, but my name is Waddles. That has been a fun exploration of raids. Maybe we'll do something like this uh, again in the future because, yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't yet. If you love what I do and you want to pledge for some benefits, check out my Patreon, uh, my Twitter, my Discord. Uh, you know the whole deal. <laughs> uh, so uh, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.